Uh, good morning. Maraming lagi nagsasabi, takot sila sa numbers. Pero for the past uh, several years na na in-offer namin yung course, uh, lagi pong top notcher ang course na to save sa enrollment. So, hindi ko alam kung may ano ba yun, uh, kung anong effect nun. Yung mga takot sa numbers, usually yun yung mga nag -e enroll okay. So, uh, I would like, uh, first, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Tricia C. Ascan. Uh, I'm your course coordinator. I am a CPA by profession, but uh, my my uh, practice is in the field of the academe. Kasi ap, uh, apat po yung fields sa, ng, ng accountancy profession. Meron pong public practice, merong private, may government, and meron po sa academe. So napunta po ako sa academe because my passion is in teaching. Um, I have been an assistant professor at the Department of Agribusiness Management, pero hindi po kami nag-abot ni Brian. So, hindi ko naging estudyante si Brian noon. Uh, but for uh, family reasons, kasi kailangan mag-alaga ng mga bata, nag-semi-retirement mode po ako. And uh, right now, I'm involved with uh, the UP Open University in terms of the continuing professional education and also as a course uh, writer and developer. And um, uh, I'm also a senior lecturer sa uh, degree program nila na Master's in Public Management. To start with, uh, the course description, the focus is on the uh, small-scale enterprises engaged in um, service business. Although lahat po ng accounting process, halos pare-pareho naman po yan, may konting um, uh, kumbaga, modification lang po pagdating sa manufacturing at saka sa trading business. But since this is the simplest, our, 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 the, the, what you will see and uh, what you will go through in our course is uh, for the service business muna. The scope, our scope is uh, on a basic accounting process, meaning uh, you will learn how to uh, identify transactions, kung ano ba yung tamang transactions, business transaction, how to record transactions, and how to um, pr uh, use these transactions to be able to uh, prepare a, uh, to, how to make these transactions useful in your business. Okay. So in terms of preparing a, a, a report, no, ang tawag natin po doon ay financial statements. And the expected output is the completion of the accounting cycle. Yun po yung tawag natin dun sa proseso. Okay, for the course objectives, at the end of the course modules, the learner will be able to identify this, the importance of accounting and the nature and purpose of the information it provides in a business enterprise, identify the different financial statements, determine financial transactions and its proper classification, understand the accounting equation and how transactions affect the equation. In, yung equation po, simple lang naman ito. Wala po tayong quadratic equation. So, hindi rin po tayo gagamit ng calculus. Okay? So, wag po kayo matakot. Kasi, simpleng mat lang po ang gagamitin natin dito. Addition, subtraction, multiplication. No? Mas maganda pag multiplication, ibig sabihin, nag-grow yung ating business. Okay? So, simple simple lang. Okay? So, describe the accounting cycle. Record and summarize financial transactions in the book of accounts. Uh, prepare trial balance, make the adjustments, prepare financial statements, and close the books. Okay. Understand how cash flows affect the operations of the business. Prepare a simple cash budget and understand the basic taxation rules and requirements of a business enterprise, especially po na medyo mahigpit ang BIR ngayon at uh, si Ms. Kim Inaris po eh halos lahat ng uh, uh, sulok ng mga uh, businesses, eh, talaga. In, not only businesses, but also the professionals, di ba? Doctors, uh, lahat po. Engineers, architects, lahat na yan. So, kung kayo ay uh, may, may self-employed, nako, hahabuli na rin kayo ni Ms. Kimenares. So, it's important na meron tayong record, no? Maganda yung record ng ating business. So, it's also our advocacy here in UPOU to help entrepreneurs talaga to uh, learn no, the language of the business, which is accounting. Okay. So for the course materials, okay. Uh, we will use the following materials. No, the course guide, no, ito yung parang pinaka-course outline natin. Nandito po, tala, nandito po yung, um, yung uh, 
the content, the deadlines, no? Yung katulad ng pinakita ni Jabez kanina, nandoon po yung mga due dates, kung kailan kayo uh, kung kailan dapat kung kailan tayo mag-quiz, kung kailan may exercise, kung kailan magsasubmit ng assignment, kung ano yung mga topics, no? Uh, for that particular week. No? So nandoon po lahat sa course guide natin. And then the course manual which will be given to you later. Okay? An assignment guide a CD containing PowerPoint presentation. So, ito pong course na to, may, may, may CD, no? Although, uh, yung content po, pareho lang nung nasa course manual, but kung medyo mobile kayo, kung, let's say, nagta-travel kayo, pwede yung i-save yun, tapos pwede yung panoorin. So, kahit saan, uh, makakapag-aaral kayo. So, wala nga kawala, sabi ni JBS. Okay. Additional reference materials, no? So, um, Meron tayong mga supplementary materials as well as online references. So, merong mga links ako na nandoon na pwede niyong puntahan no, for additional uh, references. Okay. For the course content, uh, the course is divided into four units uh, with seven modules. No? So, for unit one, this is introduction to accounting process. And uh, we have two modules in unit one the accounting overview and the financial statements and classification of accounts. So dito, you will be exposed to a lot of terminologies, no? financial terminologies. So marami po talaga kayong matututunan ng mga bagong terms. Uh, again, since this is the language of the business, no, it's important that you learn, no? to, you learn the language para pag nakipag-usap po kayo sa accountant ninyo, naiintindihan nyo. Uh, uh, this is not to make you, dun sa mga enroll, this is not to make you overnight accountants, no? Um, hindi po kayo, pagkatapos ito, hindi kayo, pag gusto nyo kumuha ng board exam, hindi, hindi pa, kasi mar maraming, maraming fields ng accounting, biglang, hoy, nagka-highest distinction ako, mag-CPA board exam ako, hindi pa yun. No? So, marami yon. But, um, at least, no, alam nyo na, pag nakipag-usap kayo, bakit ganito yung ano ko, bakit, bakit, May, bakit may may income ako, may profit ako, pero wala naman cash yung ano ko, yung aking uh, bank bal yung aking ano, yung passbook natin. Diba? So yung mga ganung ano, no? Uh, unit 2, we have uh, three modules, pero yung isa pong module is subdivided into four. So basic accounting process. So nandito na yung dito na papasok yung mga computations, no? Yung yung sinasabi yung uh, math. Yan. Okay, pero sa anong-ano lang to very uh, mini, uh, hindi po talaga to hindi kayo matatakot. Okay? Saka dapat simula ngayon, i love niyo na talaga ang math. <laughs> kung gusto niyo yung ano, kung gusto niyo yung ma makapasa, okay? kung gusto niyo matapos yung course. Okay, so accounting equation using debit and credit in recording business transaction kasi ito po talaga yung pag-uusapan. Anong debit? Anong credit? Anong debit? Yan ganyan. Then uh, we have the accounting cycle sa module 5. So we have uh, we have four uh, parang sub modules to no journal entries, adjustment process, financial statement preparation and the closing process. Okay, and then the third unit is the cash flow analysis. Okay, so nandito yung parang cash budgeting. So ano yung mga uh, cash inflows, ano yung mga Ano yung, ano yung mga sources ng inyong funds? Saan sa nang gagaling? Pwedeng sa bangko, nangutang kayo. Pwedeng galing sa business, yung kinita ninyo. Pwedeng nag-additional investment kayo. No? So, yung mga ganon. And then, ano yung mga outflows? Di, syempre, yung mga expenses. Or, nagbayad kayo ng interest, nagbayad kayo ng principal, and so on. And, nag, yun, yung mga ganon. Okay? And the last one is the business taxation. No? So, for uh, business taxation for small enterprises, although wala po ito, pag hinanap nyo ito sa course manual, wala siya. Kasi, um, lagi po natin ito kasing ina-update. Kasi, di ba, lagi maraming bagong uh, revenue uh, memorandum, regulations. So, ina-update natin ito, kaya hindi na po namin sinama yung, ano, yung itong module na to. So, online po ito. Makikita nyo sa, sa ating course site. Okay. For the course requirements, we have uh, on tatlo lang naman po ang requirements ko no we have online quizzes which is 30% online uh, graded exercises which is 10% and the assignment uh, which is 60% 
Though, meron din po tayong mga discussion forums, pero hindi po, optional po yun, no? But uh, you are highly encouraged to participate in the forums. So, yung iba, sabi nga nung may nagsabi to, you hate daw niya, ang ayaw daw po niya na recitation. Yung pong discussion forum, yun po yung pinaka-recitation dito sa, sa, sa courses natin. So, lahat po yan, ang, lahat ng courses meron, like uh, organic agriculture, and EPP, ED, and even SAFE, um, Kailangan, um, ano po yan, meron mga discussion forums para ma-enrich din po ninyo yung, yung, uh, yung, yung pag-aaral ninyo. Okay. For the house rules, uh, it is important that you read the course guide. Yun po yung kauna-unahan yung dapat gawin. Siguro pag uwi nyo sa bahay, i-download nyo na po yung course guide. Nandun na po yun sa course site. Kung meron na po kayong username and password, so makakapasok na po kayo. And then, basahin nyo pong mabuti, then i-internalize nyo po kasi nandun po talaga yung mga instructions para ma, uh, since you are a virtual student, no, um, hindi lagi tayo nagpapangita. No? So, pagka, pagka online, pagka, pag nag-aaral ka through online, you, usually you're on your own. No? Ang kami, parang facilitator lang, kami coach, no? yung ganyan. Pero yung pag-aaral talaga, talagang nasa inyo. Okay. So, uh, ang una nyo gawin is to read the course guide. And then, yun, tingnan nyo kung ano yung mga, kailangan tandaan nyo na, i-calendar nyo na ito yung mga dates, lalo na si Javis, naglagay na siya ng mga, ng mga due dates. No? Sa akin, meron na rin. So, ilagay nyo na ito yung dapat, dapat uh, i-clear ko yung aking uh, schedule kasi meron kaming online quiz o meron akong isasubmit na assignment. No? Para pagdating ng ano, hindi tayo laging, laging photo finish. No, na magsasubmit. Um, ang submission ko is laging 11.55 p.m. Okay, para dun, uh, usually on a Saturday. So, para pagka um, nagta yung mga working, no, meron pa silang time no, na magpuyat <laughs> para matapos yung assignment. <laughs> Yan. And then, uh, uh, visit the course site regularly. Okay, so, sa akin naman, at least at least uh, weekly no sa si Jabez kasi araw-araw daw niya except Wednesday eh so <laughs> so sa akin at least weekly para medyo ano kumbaga sa ano hindi kayo nawawala sa sirkulasyon no eh para makita niyo ano ba nangyayari dito meron bang nag-post meron bang nag meron bang uh, meron bang issues may mga questions ba yung mga ganyan eh ano na ba yung mga announcement okay. and then try to follow the schedule given in the course guide okay. And then be, uh, as much as possible, be punctual in submitting assignments. Kasi sa say po kasi, uh, ganito, yung assignment na isasubmit ninyo, kailangan, kasi ano yan eh, sunod-sunod yan eh, kailangan maibalik kumu sa inyo bago kayo, bago nyo isubmit yung susunod na assignment. No? Kasi, um, I have to check the yung first part kasi yun yung magiging, guide ninyo dun sa mga susunod na parts. No, otherwise, pag sinabmit yung lahat yan at may mali sa unahan, mali ng lahat yon. Okay, kaya, as much as possible, be punctual. Eh, sa ngayon po, as of yesterday to, uh, 43 na ang enrolled. So, imagine ninyo, imagine, imagine ninyo kung gano'n ko katagal to mag-check. So, ang hirap po talaga mag-check ng assignment. Especially, may uh, yung numbers involved. Okay. Students are expected to be diligent and honest in their course requirements. Okay. There were uh, instances in the past na may mga um, uh, learners na nagkokopyahan. No? So, as much as possible, wag nyo naman pong isend through email do sa classmates. Oh, ito yung sagot ko. Uh, tapos, Uh, patingin nga nung ano mo, ano bang ginawa mo, so isesend. Tapos nakita nung classmate, ay, ginuto nila sa submit ko, then sinend na. Eh, nagkataon na hindi pinaltan yung pangalan. So, file, yung ano, yung file name lang ang pinaltan, pero dun sa mismong pagbinuksan mo yung assignment, yung, yung ano, yung name nung kaklase. So, yan. No? So, tapos nasa UP po tayo, so dapat, medyo academic excellence, no? Okay, so, yan. So, dapat, ano po, honest po tayo. Kasi, syempre, tayo, nasa, sa, nasa sa atin din po yun, di ba? Um, kung lolokohin natin yung sarili natin, hindi, hindi rin po tayo matututo. Okay, so, yun lang naman po, no? 
And um, hopefully, maging uh, very fruitful po yung ating, uh, ating uh, 16-week course. Sana marami uling maka, uh, maka-complete. No? And again, uh, uh, just like yung pinakita na ni JB, saka I think si RM, yung meron ka, yung uh, pare-pareho lang po yung mga uh, completion no yung yung rating no so yung mga makakarating sa highest distinction yan so makakapag speech po kayo dito sa unahan and i just would like to um, siguro para ma-inspire na rin po kayo gusto ko pong i-mention meron po tayo meron po kayong uh, classmate dito na nakadalawang valedictory address na yan gusto ko po siyang tawagin Si Mr. Mark Kabote. Mark. Tumayo ka, Mark. Okay, he was enrolled in a Simplified Accounting for Entrepreneurs. Ilan uh, ba? Two. And, and also PED. So, parehong yon, top nature po siya. At saka, siya po yung aming class, ano ba, valedictorian doon sa non-formal. Kasi sa akin po, ang grade niya is 100.3. Kasi nagbibigay po ako ng bonus. So, imagine niyo po yun talagang... And yung batang yan, ano pa yan, kung mag-submit yan sa akin, photo finish, di ba? So, kung mga, kung 11.55 ang deadline ko, mga 11.35, yan, nakakapag-submit siya. Pero, kita nyo naman. So, yun, para ma-inspire po kayo na, na matapos yung inyong course. Kasi, ang ganda din naman po na sa resume, at saka sa ano na, meron kayong natapos na uh, highest distinction or distinction or at least satisfactory completion. So thank you very much.